Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle, showing off the Elves again in the uh, new update, along with the Eastlings. So this is uh, another um, yeah, no, another show off of a 0.3.2 uh, update, So, um, which is still work in progress, there's still stuff to be changed and altered. But we do have three Elven armies sieging down two Eastling armies in this new map, Duathor. Uh, I've definitely probably pronounced that wrong, but it's a, a cool Eastling map that's been made by uh, one of the modders, so he's done a fairly good job. Got some nasty, like, entrances here with some traps, which uh, I have i didn't realise that they had traps, basically put it like that. Um, just a bit for the future. Um, <laughs> and then we've got some nasty ramps here, we've got catapults on them, we've got towers, like on the second wave, like second line of uh, walls. I hate these sort of settlements. Um, especially when I'm attacking, especially. I I think they look great, um, but I just hate when I play on them. Because, as you can see, there's going to be lots of archers on the second line of uh, walls, and they do a devastating amount of uh, damage, even to elves. But, um, yeah, so we have... I'm bringing uh, one of the elven armies over here, and I am the Las Galen. I have Las Galen Blades going in the first wave. We have another one here. We have Hall Guardians, which we were uh, just looking at earlier. And what else do we have? Obviously we've got Las Galen Archers, and we've got as my general, wherever he is, at the very end, Lords of Las Galen. Excellent units. It's a smaller army than in the last battle that we saw, but um, it's a very elite army, uh, as always, with the Elves. And there's always and there's three of us. Three Elven armies is better than one anyway, so we're going to try that out. But we're seeing some initial uh, shots being done over here. Um, and uh, yeah, these uh, elves are being forced back. They've already lost quite a lot of men. They've lost about 13. A little sneak attack they were trying to do around here with uh, these towers, but they're just going to focus down by uh, some Varric bowmen. So that was well done there. I didn't even realise they just brought, they brought chevrons on their units. On their macemen, they had chevrons. Oh wow, they have a lot of chevrons on their macemen. Jeez. Okay, yeah, so no wonder it took a little bit more than I thought to get through some of these lines. Defenses. Actually, they haven't got any chevrons over on my side, but those ones do. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it does make sense for why it took a lot longer to get over the, through there then. Um, we're seeing artillery firing here as well. We're going to get a volley. Apparently not. Of course, as soon as I appear, they, they don't do a volley. Um, we've got... Anyway, we'll quickly have a look at these uh, guys again. If you haven't seen the uh, past video, I definitely would go and recommend checking that one out. Oh, there you go. Volley! Sorry. That disturbed me. It's, it's missed every single shot, but I like that. I like to see that they've uh, tried. But anyway, yes, um, these are the clan guards. These are one of the new units. Um, so these guys do look very, very nice. Um, and then we've got, uh, over here, we've got the shock infantry unit. We've got the warriors of rune. These guys, they're like ram horns. Looking awesome. And then, they're not really a new unit. But it imp implicates it's going to be a new unit. Or there already is. I haven't actually checked out rune to see if there is. Is these guys the Loki Rim Macemen? I'm pretty sure the Loki Rim already had maces as their weapon. Or well, they certainly had something that was very mace-like looking. But, oh god, that looks nasty. Um, they might have done I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. But, um, so it implicates that there's going to be a, a Loki Rim Sword unit. Or maybe a Loki Rim Spear unit as well, maybe. But I doubt there will be a Loki Rim Spear since we've got clan guards now. Look at that. Look at the officer. He's in there now, battling away with his two-handed sword. I think they do need a, like a, I know we've got the Hall Guardians as a shock infantry unit, and they're kind of like a shock spear unit, but um, we need a shock, a double sword, double handed sword um, for the elves, mainly because they have them in the movies, and, oh, he's actually down, no, the officer's gone, all leadership is lost, um, all is lost, uh, but yeah, I think we could do the double handed sword unit, make it a, uh, just give them that a little bit extra. I think they're just... Because Hall Guardians are okay on a charge, I find. But they're not, like, devastating like some of the other ones. Like the Warriors of Rune, for instance. But as you can see here, the uh, other Elven Army... Well, the second Elven Army, or Clitson, the third one's kind of over there. Um, is landing in this corner, unopposed. Not a bad idea, to be fair, because you don't need to defend this area. Because I'm... A <laughs> it's a bit annoying that you can't, like, go through here. I think this map uh, could do with a few more entrances just to like compromise um, like the defenders a little bit make force them having to defend more because they have a lot of reserves like if there's another gap here just so they have to defend it and so you, like both of these choke points here and here were not so uh, easy defendable um, but yeah so this guy's uh, unopposed and he's 
only in opposed because these two are choke points here. These two choke points here. I mean, they're actually falling back. These low key macemen, low low key rim, low key macemen. They're only they're only low key uh, macemen. On on some days they're swordsmen. Um, but no, no. I'm sure I'll carry on saying that throughout the battle, and I won't even realise sometimes. But here we go. So the main first engagement really over on my side on the walls there. We have got some landings on this side as well. We've got more Les Garland blades. I think the only other unit that I've not shown off is these guys, which is new into the uh, game. This is the lowest tier unit of archers, the Forest Rangers. So uh, yeah, this is the other unit that is in it that I didn't show off in the last video, but is in this one. And these guys look pretty cool. They're like Athelian Rangers. They've got like some cool. Um, elven sort of like styled uh, hood going on. Can't really see them too much, but that's because they're hidden. But uh, we'll see them in a bit when they stand up and they get moving around. Um, but yeah, the pain is starting to hurt. Like certainly over on this side, I'm getting focused down. I didn't even realise. Um, so yeah, that's a pain. I'm fighting these warriors of rune, warlords of rune. Sorry. And I'm getting focused on, but I am landing over here as well. I'm landing my swords onto the ground, and I notice all this cavalry here, uh, and that gets me really scared because this cavalry is nasty. If you've seen the last video, then you know that uh, I did not like that cavalry at all. Um, and it's the same in this video as well, to be honest. Mainly because I just hate runic cav with a passion. But uh, yeah, still the fighting goes on on the walls. Oh gosh. These elven units are so good, but they're also like the same colour as rune, so it's just kind of like, uh, well, similar shade to rune. So it's like dark reds and browns being used here. And there is gold for the elves as well. Oh, and here you go, yeah, they got the charge off, the first charge off. They're going to do it again. They killed like 19 men. I'm forming a shield wall. I formed a shield wall before. Here we go, form shield wall. I learned from my last my last video. It still doesn't I like they said oh you should be forming shield wall. I lost still a lot of men. Like I just don't think you can fight cavalry. <laughs> like it's you, you just whatever happens, you're condemned if you fight the cavalry. See I'm just now I really should have got these guys back on the wall somewhere. But um, where I was going to do that, I have no idea. Like now, for instance, he's giving me the chance to go back. Actually, no, he's really not. He's just going to charge in again. Let's get it from the cavalry perspective. Bane of the step. Like, I think that is actually me trying to pull them back. And then, uh, yeah, that was a, that made a, the whole scenario a whole lot worse. Uh, to be honest, they're down to 58. Now I should start pulling them back. But instead, I think I start to chase. Try and catch these guys out. They haven't lost a... Oh, no, they've lost five guys. I'm starting to lose a few more. But I really should uh, pull these guys back. Try and get them on the wall. Surround these Varag Warriors. But yeah, I lost over here. Because of the archers, man. Uh, they are doing... They've not even used, like, half their ammo. And they've wiped out one of my units. So you can see the pain we're about to get through. Um, but yeah, this unit here is uh, not having fun. So I'm at early game, I'm having a bit of a rough moment. So I'm... Uh, Still having some hard times. I'm starting to mobilize my archers. And I'm focusing down any... There's these Varag Warriors. They got focused down here, you can see. Um, I think now I'm shooting these Loki Rim with my archers. I could be... Oh, no, I'm not. What am I shooting? Oh, I'm shooting these guys. These uh, Warriors of Rune. Not a bad decision, actually. Or Warlords of Rune, not Warriors. Um, but yeah, I'm sending more archers. Uh, it's kind of probably a stupid move. Sending more archers up into the same choke point. This time I'm going to support my own archers um, with the Warlords of Rune, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, look at that. That is disgusting. Just like these guys are just walking along, getting shot as they go. Um, but yeah, so my men are fleeing the field of battle, and that's going to be against the horses. Yep. Yeah, that's a shame, but it was ex expected. Um, over this side, they're still not having as much, uh, still not having much joy themselves. They're focusing down archers. They've only killed three of these guys. This is insane. They're going to have very low HP, though. They've got a lot of blood out here on the ground. Um, and then we've got Clan Guard saying, oh, look at them. Look at those guys. Gorgeous. Gorgeous is what I have to say. 
Then we've got Warriors of Ru uh, Warlords of Ruin in behind. Oh, is this a oh, series seven? A really nice spot. Not much to fire at. I mean, you can fire everything outside, but they're not really blobbed up. Yeah, no, they're gonna look like gonna do it. We're knocking down towers by the sounds of it. Um, that's great. I want to see a volley, boys. I want to see a volley, but it doesn't look like we're going to get one. Um, elves actually losing over here on this wall. This is a concern. Yeah, our first wave of uh, first wave of elves and stuff like that is getting absolutely messed up, to be honest. I don't think many of our last garland blades do last very long. Bless them having to be sent in first. The arrow, arrow's coming in, though. Still. Oh, cavalry. Okay, so yeah, I saw this cavalry coming in. So I formed the hedgehog formation with the whole guardians. He charges in. Like, no damage. They kill, like, maybe two men, I think. And it, So I don't think I kill many of theirs, but I save so many of my own. Oh, I got a couple. I actually got quite a lot. A whole three. Four, five. Yeah, I'll take that. That's easy. Oh, I'll make that six. Oh, Maybe more than that. I've got seventh somewhere. But yeah, I think I lost one man. A whole one man. So, uh, these Hall Guardians, you don't mess with them. You can't, if you charge them head on, they will die just as well as the last Gallon Blades. But, not today. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to get these guys up on the wall. I'm going to start fighting these Varag Warriors because we really needed to do some work. I'm, I am actually losing here because of the archers. But, I mean, there's so few. Uh, and they're also losing the Warlords of Rune. But there's so few of them left. I just got to get these swords out of here, like, seriously. Like, look at the amount of ammo here. It is insane. I mean, actually, this Loki room archer is, unit is nearly out of ammo, thank God. But, I mean, that is disgusting. I like that they crouch down as well. It's a, it's a small thing. I've probably noticed it, like, a hundred times. Just never commented on it. It's just amazing. It looks really good. There we go. We've broken the Warlords of Rune. Cut them down. That guy's not even firing in the right direction. He's going to fire over here somewhere. There's no one there, pal. Yeah, those guys really need to get off the wall, though. 68 of them left. We really need to get... Yeah, get off the wall. I think I'll go down here and hide somewhere. But then they've also got um, supply barrels here. Which do allow you to resupply your troops. So, uh, they do use them later on. Annoyingly. And they don't run out. I'm pretty sure they don't run out. I could be wrong. Um, I could be wrong. And they once used, they are they do go, but they didn't seem to disappear. This artillery's still not fired. It's in a great spot, in fairness. Yeah, what can you fire at in fairness, though? Um, but yeah, so I mean, like the slow grind's slowly happening over here. It's a long, it is a long battle, but it's an insanely close battle. So I definitely uh, recommend seeing this one out till the end. Look at the just so beautiful. There's so much. So much wall fighting going on, and like some arch fire, and that that's like how we've got to fight right now, currently. We're having a really rough time, early game. Um, we've captured, oh yeah, we captured uh, these towers, and I started to walk through with my Hall Guardians, and they started to die to these traps. It was so frustrating, so I, I think I lost like 10, 20 men, uh, let's see. Yeah, I lost 13 in that one, that one's in combat now, but I think that one actually hasn't lost a single man yet, so... I lost about 20 to 30 men from those goddamn traps. And it's so frustrating. So frustrating. And they're now actually uh, in more traps, but they're, they're just sharp stones that slow you down. But we should break through these uh, clan guard pretty quickly. Because we've got Hall Guardians here, boy. One of my favorite units, well, in the uh, Rise of Mordor. By far, one of my favorite units. Look at that guy, he's just taking an arrow to the uh, shoulder, it's like a beast. Oh! They're slowly dropping, slowly dropping these clan guard. They just a good... Clan guard just remind me of Pavi's crossbow from 12-12. Because they've just got really big shields, they take a lot of fire, like archer fire. They don't do much killing. I don't know how elite, how expensive they are, or how elite they are. They're pretty, well, they're pretty elite. 
They're, they're trained, okay. So they're going to be they're mid tier. They're going to be fairly expensive, but not too expensive. I think that's fair enough. It's a unit that you use to absorb ammo, which is great when you're fighting the elves. If the elves decide to fire at them, obviously. Um, and um, they're good at holding choke points, which is great for sieges in this scenario. So I think there is a good unit. You don't want to bring loads of them. You still want to like spam out a load of Loki rim macemen. But, uh, and shock infantry, but it's certainly a unit worth uh, thinking about bringing. And the Varig warriors are finally dying up here on this wall. Finally. Here we go, the Hall Guardians, they'll come in, they'll mess it up. They'll mess them up. Yep, the elves just broke there, and now they get a charge from the Hall Guardians. Jeez, that's going to be devastating. I think that might actually break them. That did, that broke them just like that. It's Hall Guardians, man. They're nasty. Um, and yeah, I started firing at I think I got my archers, I was going to fire at the clan guard, but I was told don't fire at clan guard. It's just not a good idea. they got quite a lot of them still on this uh, route up. But yeah, these Varric Bowmen are getting focused down now by archers. Um, I thought they I thought <laughs> they seemed to didn't want to die. I know I've only fired them about two or three times so far, but um, in a moment, like as I fire more and more volleys, they wouldn't die. I was getting so frustrated. This helped as well uh, against the clan guards, just getting shot in the back by all these elves up here. Look at that, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Elves, man. That's better view. Oh. They're so good. So good looking. I think they're now firing all the way over here at these archers as well. We're just focusing on these very bowmen. But, like, look at all the archers up here, man. This is disgusting. <laughs> it's just. If you have the option, guys, to fight with uh, one wall or two, always choose one. Never choose a second wall. Like you got your forces in, you get in the first wall. It's just gonna get focused down from the second. But yet yeah, they sent out some warlords of rune. I thought this was a bit of a bizarre tactic. I think they're going for my archers. Um, but I I see this and I tell uh, my ally to send the cavin. And I've also got units here that are gonna flank around. It looked like, um, sorry, this unit here of Hall Guardians, sorry to go back to this, but like they were at 72, they were at 99, like coming off that wall. They're at 72 now. Um, so it shows how devastating the archers are being. Like, and there you go, the, El the Elven King's just gonna massacre these guys. I think they're already like losing decisively. Almost certainly they're losing decisively. Yeah. They went down from. Uh, 140 down to already down to 80. That's nasty. Nearly half strength and one charge. They're now firing fire ammo. I'm kind of okay with this. Um, it just damages your morale, which at the moment's not really an issue. Oh my gosh, so that's an issue. Firing art. Oh my god, that was a really good hit. Well, I say a really good hit. I really I should spread these guys out. I do eventually, but I lose so many men beforehand before I even realise. But, um, yeah, these Varric Bowmen are probably racking up kills because of my stupidity and the artillery. But you can see how many reserves they've got. They've not got much here, but they've got a lot on this slope. They've got lots over here by, uh, like this tower. The cavalry's over here. He's trying to harass, I think, this army out here. This small little bit of the army. I don't know where the other cavalry is. It's scary. Oh, it's, well, it's there. That's one of them. That's a general. Yeah, where is the other one, actually? I don't know. I have no clue, actually, where the other cavalry is. Maybe it died. Maybe it died. Oh, I think it did, actually. I think the Elven King killed it. I could be wrong. But yeah, I mean, they, but they're actually burning their own city, which is... Uh, I'm fine with that. It, every little bit of morale is going to help. The settlement damage so far is still at zero. Yeah, they started focusing down the general, I think, as soon as... Um, as soon as uh, he got in here, which is... Not a bad tactic, to be fair. Look at the amount of dead Elven King in here. Jeez. They don't do well to archers, but in melee, they uh, they they kill. Like if they if it's just melee versus melee, those Elven King will win, I think. Apart from possibly against Shock Infantry. Shock Infantry is obviously going to mess up Cav. Oh, poor! Every time a whole Guardian dies. It's a sad sight. A sad sight.
Yeah, it's cut them down. I think these uh, Warriors of Rune are winning quite easily. They're actually going to send up more stuff. It's got some uh, Loki Rim Macemen in the background there. And there you go. I'm, I think I'm sending... Uh, someone's sending in a, a depleted unit of swords. It might be me. Yeah, I'm sending in my depleted units of swords. Surround these guys. And there you go. Broken just like that. <laughs> Broken. Gone. Um, and now I think I... I'm trying to fall back somewhere. I'm going to fall back. I'm either going to charge in or hide. Oh, yeah, and there you go. I think I go and hide behind these buildings. Just avoid archer fire for a bit. Save some units. But you can see these elven units getting absolutely... These were at full strength. They're getting absolutely wasted. This one's still okay, but the uh, these two are not looking so hot. And they're finally dying, these very bowmen. Finally dying. Like, it, you don't know how long I was thinking these guys were taking to die. It was frustrating. But yeah, there you go. Arch fire is finally killing them off. And look at that. <laughs> it's just burnt their own city to the ground. It's kind of funny. Um, funny to watch. Just damages morale ever so slightly. Actually, settlement damage zero. Okay, apparently. Apparently on this modded map, burning your own city. Or is that maybe just not enough of the city burnt? Surely that's a percentage of the city's burnt to the ground. Maybe it just doesn't matter in this. But yeah, they're now firing my archers with artillery and archers. I'm kind of okay with that. He actually missed every single shot there with normal ammo. Wow. And this unit here has been firing on the walls since day one. I'm not quite sure how it's got off the wall and to here, but it has. They're now fighting clan guard, Loki Rim, all the stuff. A good view here. We can see all the archers and all like all my elves. Yeah, here you go. I spread them out now, finally. I, I realise it is stupid what I've been doing. I do have some dumb moments when playing. Yes, let's bother pull my arches. That won't can't go wrong. A couple of uh, good artillery hits later. And you're looking a bit rough. Yeah, and there you go. Now I'm trying to... I'm now shooting with my arches into the back of these guys. Oh, and in, I think I'm shooting... Yeah, these ones as well. It also into the side. And this is... Uh, Turning the tide of the battle, there you go. The clan guards are gone, are uh, about to go, and the Loki remacement have gone. I don't know whether I... Can they get off this wall? Oh, they can. Um, yeah, this also, this breach here, this was done by the enemy. To this day, I'm not quite sure if that was on purpose or by accident. But yeah, they just gave us a way in, which is fair enough. I'm, I wish I'd waited for that instead of sending my uh, hall guardians in and getting them killed by the traps, but... Ah, well, it happens. Way. Yes, you're right, way. But anyway, over here on this side, we've not had a look on this side. They've finally broken through this choke point here. They're now actually about to wrap up these walls of rune. Which, they're still firing in there. This is such a brave... <laughs> a bit of a waste of ammo. They're going to break anyway. Um, they're actually lost at this siege tower here. Um, and they're actually being forced back on the walls. The elves are not having a fun time on this wall. We've got um, clan guards and we've got halberdiers here as well. This is a nasty, uh, a nasty formation. But elves being elves, they're just going to hold here and shoot them. It's, now the uh, Loki room has the option of standing here and dying or retreating and dying a little bit more. But uh, yeah, this looks like a glorious formation. Bit dark. Damn, damn walls in the way, but that looks gorgeous does look gorgeous. All that blood. Yeah, we could have done with some artillery. I can just hear it going off. I don't know what it's actually trying to hit. I think it, I presume it's trying to hit all these archers down here. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, but yeah, I think they're trying to focus down wards of rune now, archers. Just any shock infantry that you, we can. Um, we've now engaged here at the slope. And this is our... Like, not really our final push, but it's our, our push up this hill. But here we go. Look at that. Devastating fire. Like, this is such a nice blob to fire into right now. I've got so few troops in here that I'm just not going to get friendly fire. I'm now being supported by my ally. He's sending in some fresh units of swords. And they're sending in some archers without ammo now. I mean, this is turning into a really nice fight down here, though. Glorious. Glorious. 
Oh, that was... I'd say that was friendly fire. Yeah, it kind of hits there. That was definitely friendly fire. It might have carried on through and hit some elves, but... The initial hit... We've got, uh, I think uh, this is my, I've got a new unit of Hall Guardians here ready. I'm sending them in. Sending the boys in. These Loki Rim Archers got some, somehow got behind us, so uh, we've got to get rid of them. I've got a depleted units of swords as well. I've just got like everything. This My army is pretty small at this point. Uh... I've had a pretty rough time. I made some mistakes, but I've also had a rough, rough time. I was kind of working alone for most of the battle while uh, my two allies were kind of sort of working uh, together. I did get some help, for, obviously, from my ally here. Oh, I'm hearing some good hits, though. I mean, I'm hearing good hits. It's some, they're always they're, they're knocking around here, but I'm actually, because there's normal ammo, it's hard to see where they go. These elven archers, man, they're getting some good kills. So they need to fo focus down here a bit more. I say that's the biggest blob of them all. Like, we can get through these elven, these uh, Loki rim archers in no time. They've actually got so many chevrons right now. Yeah, they are losing as well in combat. Hawkins, <laughs> hall guardians. These guys. Uh, yeah, they get They cause a lot of frustration to players. Uh, no one seems to like playing against them, but. Uh, Damn, they're, they're good to work with. Cut these guys down. Oh, that's a good hit. There you go. Fire ammo. Kills an individual elf. One elf. Set on fire. But yeah, I'd say we, we're going to probably win this. We're overwhelming them. We're, we're breaking them here. Um, they've already broken those Loki Rim Archers. These Hall Guardians are just nasty. And then, uh, but they've got another line set up. They've got stakes, they've got clan guards, they've got more Loki Rim. Look awesome. Just can't get over how good they are. <laughs> they look so great. I don't know. Rune just looks great now. I mean, they already look great, but look even better. Look even better. Time to die, apparently. Oh, that's another hit. That was a friendly fire hit there, definitely. Um, I don't think it killed... It killed, like, again, it killed one single man, I think. It's probably doing HP damage to people around it, but... Uh, around that one man, but just the one man to die today. Oh. Chopped an elven head off. How could you? Yes, kill them all. We're slowly breaking through these... Uh, these guys. Imagine like being an elf uh, and living for like forever. That's a good hit here. And then um, dying to a Loki Rim Archer. A man that's literally been given a sword just like as a defensive weapon. Like Loki Rim Archers are okay. They'll probably beat like some tier units but elves they shouldn't be being. At well they're not being at all. Also, dying to an archer as an elf would be pretty uh, ironic, since you're like a race of archers. Um, but yeah, so I think they've been focusing down here. They've got these Loki Rim Halberdiers down to 92. They've got them down to like half strength. So, no oh no, there's just two units of spears in it. Jeez, this is a big blob. Imagine having artillery. That'd be great. Um, they actually just shot their own man in the back there, that tower. But the uh, walls, it's still being fought for. Like, I mean, there's still also elves coming inside. We've got all the Hall Guardians over here. We've got Morlaz Garland Blades. There's still loads to come in. And the cavalry here is coming. Bane of the Steps coming. I think they're trying to go for um, these elves. And I think the elven players realized. Saying up. I think he's going to form. He I'd form Hedgehog fe Formation. Hedgehog Formation. And Prey. Oh, and Shield Wall. You can form Shield Wall with that one. Or just like hide behind this Siege Tower. So they can't get a great charge. They're not coming yet, actually. It's still going to take a little bit of time. A little bit of time to come. See if we can get a good charge. But there you go. They've finally broken them. <laughs> Loki Rim on the walls. Uh, but another one is ready. You know, just when you finish one, there's another one ready. 
Yep, the Baden steps going round. They're going to try and get a good charge. You know, there you go. Forming Hedgehog formation. These last Garland blades are uh, pretty well protected. I mean, yeah, these are these guys and Hedgehog looks awesome as well. I mean, this unit is just great. They're one of my favorite units, I think. Like they brought them to life is just oh, brilliant. And there you go, we're broken. Are broken through here, and we're now up, and they're burning more of their city to the ground. Luckily, that one went out. Yeah, still summoned damage zero. I think they're just it's broken. I don't think uh, it really matters if you burn the summons to the ground in this one. Oh no, the settlement's on fire. There you go. Yeah, there you go. One percent. <laughs> there you go. Finally. Not quite sure where, where it's ablaze now, but it is. Apparently, it's just on fire. But here we go, we're charging up. I, I, my army now, all my infantry is so depleted. It doesn't help that the closer we get as well to their front lines, the more ammo they're using. Like, but they're nearly out of ammo. I think this player then goes to go and start using uh, the resupply in a moment. This Loki Rim Maceman unit has also been focused down a lot. Um, or he's going to get focused down a lot by archers. But these boys aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I I uh, put on put on missile, uh, not mi missile. I put on a uh, encourage, and since every single one of my uh, hall guardians have it in there, I think I have all three of my hall guardians still left. Even even though they're depleted, I think they're all in there. Yeah, so I can just pop that one like every so often just to keep them going. It's glorious, glorious. But here we go. We're going to have the charge of the Bane of the Steps now. They're going to try and s stop those guys getting on the towers. Come on, come on. Quickly get on. You'd be like, oh my gosh. You'd be like fighting to get onto this ladder. And here we go. Oh, that's nasty. Like, just crush them into the seashell. They should all be dead. I think they might be. Uh, no, they're, they're not. They didn't lose that many. They lost like 18 or something like that. Bane the steps are going on. Uh, I think the Hall Guardians are. Because the Hall Guardians are coming. That General though. Elven King Riders. You might need to keep an eye on his. I think that General's okay. Um, I don't think he's... I think he could beat this Bane the steps. He's a pretty damn elite unit. Oh, are we going to have another charge? We are. But he's not a fan of that one. Because they're forming Hedgehog at the bottom of the Siege Towers. This is smart. Okay, the settlement is still burning. I'm like, jeez, it, is, it really is burning. Feeling. The men are wavering, hey? Well, we'll pop it in Courage, hopefully, in a bit. And that'll sort them out. But yeah, I've got so few troops in here. Like, so few troops. But it works. So few troops because the archers aren't now firing in here. I mean, they might now because the sword unit's come to join in, but uh. Actually, well, the archers are probably out of ammo. I think they've gone to hunt for more ammo. Oh, no, they uh. They're definitely here. They just, those Loki Rim got sent in. Uh, I think most of the Loki Rim now is actually. Well, this one over here is not. But uh, most of the Loki Rim archers are actually now in combat. They only have. Two in the on the rear walls, and they got some Varag Bowmen over there, but they're trapped. Um, unless they go off to the, all the way around the walls, but I don't think they do. Um, but they get trapped down here. Um, in a moment, uh, well, they kind of are because you can't go out this way, because this uh, route leads to back here, and the other route obviously leads to. Back here, which is now being fought over by the elves and the uh, Loki Rim. I'm not really sure why they pulled back their halberds now. I would have sent them back in, try and fight back against these last Garland blades. Actually, get some kills with them. So otherwise, they're just gonna get focused down. They, like, they're gonna get focused down like you're just standing there, or they're gonna get focused down if they're, you put them in combat. So might as well try and get some kills. We fight in the shadow of the walls now. Excellent. Look at this guy here. Like, that one guy here. He's like the, one of the only few. He's like, prod, prod. Ha, I can prod at you from range. You can't get me.
Looks like the next assault's going to start up here. They've got archers with no ammo going in. These guys are pretty beefy, though. They're Lords of Las Garland as well. Jeez. Here we go. These guys are going to do well in combat. I think they might actually beat these clan guards, you know. Oh. Look at these guys. Just got the charge off. Broke that shield wall. I thought I saw movement up there. They've got Warriors of Rune ready. And they've got, like, I think they might have some more Loki Rim. It's not warriors either, it's warlords, isn't it? I keep saying warriors, it's warlords. They're all warriors of rune. <laughs> um, you are? You're a warrior of rune? You're a warrior of rune? Yeah, I'm going mad at this point. This is this is what lockdown does to you. Um, you start just absolutely going on about absolute rubbish. But yeah, there you go. So the uh, clan guards are losing. The Loki rune will be next to be losing. But my all my halberdiers are still... Oh, halberdiers. My... Um, Hall guards are still in here. Hall guardians. Doing their bit. And I think I've got some battered archers still. Actually, I've got quite a lot of my archers left. They all still have ammo. They all, every single one of them will use their ar arrows up before going into combat. I think I've been firing every so often into here, but they keep saying they're obstructed. Which it sort of is. But, I mean, apparently they're obstructed from here, but really it's just a, it's a tent obstructing them, which is a bit stupid. Um, shouldn't really be the case. But it is. Look at that officer. Glorious man. He's leading the, leading the charge. As we fight around the onages now. Oh, and he goes down. You just see the occasional Hall Guardian for me, like here, just, <laughs> these, they're a rare thing now. And here we go, I think I'm, uh, I've uh, given the order to fire again, yep. And look at them, they're all obstructed, I know I've got a bit more of a building, but they can still certainly see over this. The men are broken and running for their lives. And yeah, my men are breaking, but I think I've popped an Encourage in a moment. And there you go, they'll return. <laughs> So great, just the, that encourage ability. Just pop it. Yep, that'll that'll keep them going for a bit longer. They're doing it over here as well. But yet yeah, now I think they've won here. Uh, the elves are going to fall back, and they're just going to shoot these Loki Rim again, or the Halberdiers. That's why you should have sent them in. Should have sent them into combat. Lock these guys in combat. And if they fall back, you kill some men. Yeah, this is nasty. These last Garland archers here are getting some great kills. Getting absolutely brilliant kills. Waiting to fire, indeed. Fire when ready. Oh, they're not actually firing at the halberdiers anymore. They're firing at the archers back here. These very bowmen. Firing, uh, fire ammo. Not quite sure. No one's lost any generals yet, as far as I'm aware. So, unless it does something else that I just, I'm not aware of, which is quite possible. Like, it shouldn't be. Oh, gosh, look at that. That honor just went on fire. The amount of fire has just got fired in here. Set it alight. Jeez. Yeah, unless Fire Armor does something else apart from damage morale. Well, it does melee defense and melee attack, but I don't think three is going to make the difference at this point. These are elves, man. They've got some nasty melee attack and melee defense. And there you go. Those uh, Halberdiers are trying to fall back now. It's probably a bit too late. But there's only 37 of them left. It's not going to do much. Over here. Um, yeah, they're not having much of joy, actually, these Lords of Last Guard. I think they were doing okay up until these Warriors of Rune appeared. And now they're getting absolutely chopped up. Which is fair enough. They are a shock infantry unit. Probably need some more support over here. I don't know if they're just going to start firing more arrows. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's also probably why they're losing. That's like a disgusting angle. Yeah, let's see what the angle that those archers can get. I mean, ready to fire. Ready to fire. Yeah, that is, that is actually, that is disgusting. I mean, the uh, elves are trying to do their bit and fire back in there, but they haven't got the gr uh, as good an angle as these guys. 
So I'm now trying to get again. Move, move. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's okay. Oh. Look at that. That is disgusting. It's just the elves, like, about... 12, like 10, probably like 10 to 12 elves drop every single time that volley goes in. It's something disgusting like that, probably. But yeah, the cavalry's back inside and it's uh, trying to do stuff. But um, I was keeping my eyes peeled and I was uh, just telling my uh, ally every single time these elves, this, uh, this cavalry came along that it was coming. And uh, instead of committing, the uh, the commander of these uh, cavalry just was like, fine, I won't, I won't commit them. But here we go. I, I think I give the call. I should anyway. And in fairness, oh there we go. The Elven King's coming now. Here comes the Elven King. Is he gonna come in? No. I think this Elven King will still beat those uh, riders. Also the elves, the Lords of Lascar, and if they charge in, they'll be fine. I think I start to fire a few volleys at them as well. These bent steps. Get a few kills here and there. And here they come, they're coming back. They're going to commit this time. Uh, Hall Guardians are appearing. Do not help the wounded. As a, as a cavalryman, I don't think you could ever have the chance to help the wounded. There'd just be no joy, no help. There's no way you could help. Um, I'll just fight. I mean, as soon as that Elven King, though, the, the Elven King's in a rough spot because he's got to defend this area, uh, defend his arches. But... He gets too close and these Loki Rim will fire at him. So he's got a bit of an issue there. So yeah, I've got men out of ammo. What happens when they're out of ammo? They go in. Straight in. <laughs> it's 87 archers into the grind over here. We're actually going to win this fight. And we're on to uh, these um, Loki Rim Macemen back here next. Actually, no, they're going straight in. Here we go. Just in time, they're going to come straight in here. Nope, they, they're falling back. They might need to go, and these Loki remarches are in a bit of trouble. I like their formation they form. It's like an arrow formation. Like a really deep arrow formation. Like, look at this. They're moving around. They're showing their back, and they're still not getting shot. Their HP must be, like, in pieces. Yeah, you better be panting hard. You've, like, all of you taken at least one arrow. Um, yeah, these Warlords of Rune. I was also focusing down as well with our archers earlier. Um, just as... They like stood here, so they're like, well, we can hit them, certainly. Well, no wall will stop us. We'll loop our archers over the wall and hit them. Or it might be that one, actually. I don't know. It's one or the other. I've certainly been hitting a lot of them, but they're breaking through here. Here you go. So the archers were trapped. They came off the wall. They're firing. And now these Haven, uh, not Haven, these Hall Guards, Guardians, are uh, able to do damage. And doing a lot of damage. They're killing a lot of these Varig uh, archers who had ammo left. Um, they're chasing this one as well through the streets. They have another, oh god, they have a uh, another area set up. They've got Varig Archers here, and they've got uh, Loki Remacement here. I don't know why we had a little bit of a lag spike there. There we go, all sorted. All sorted. He's brave, brave man. But yeah, so I think uh, the elves have certainly take finally taken this first uh, wall. I mean, they're still fighting actually at this gate, this wall here. Like, look at this. This is disgusting. They've been fighting here for ages, like since the very start. I mean, it's different units now, but they've been fighting over this whole area for ages. They like they did a lot of better job over this side of holding us at the wall. I mean, I don't think their plan was to hold us at the wall here for very long. I'm not sure what their plan exactly was, but uh. Oh, that's nearly a very good artillery hit. Nearly, but it wasn't. Uh, it's now out of ammo, so no point firing at it. Um, but yeah, these uh, Hall Guardians need to get back around this corner because they're going to get absolutely shredded. Um, the other one is being shredded. Um, but yeah, this is these two units here, they're now out of the battle. We don't need to worry about them. Like, they can go all the way around there. Like, we can't follow them unless we go on the walls, and that's just not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, we'll just do something about that. Yeah, I don't know why it's stuttering now. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, what the issue with this is. I think it might just be something with the uh, upload or the update or something like that. This is very strange. Very strange. I do apologize. 
we'll go back and watch the fighting over here as this as they now fight the Loki room, but I'm really running low on troops now. Like there's literally twelve, six, um, forty seven. Like look at this, this is disgusting. Disgusting. Well, I'm now firing archers in here. They're slowly dying, these mace for now, finally. But here we go. This is a really good play by uh, the uh, rune player. Getting his warlords of rune around the side. Uh, I mean, they're going to get focused on by our archers, but they're going to have to do this. And they can now route a lot of our troops here. The nice little charge in the side. Well, they can do damage anyway. They're not routing yet. I mean, my archers might route here. My whole guardians will never route. These boys love a fight. There's so few of them now, though. Uh, they're not really making a difference. Oh my god, that one just got absolutely fucking, like, destroyed. Never to be seen again. Snatched away. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not happy with what's happening here. This is, uh... This is not so good. The stuttering. I'm, I'm gonna have to sort... Like, look through this, what the issue is. Or ask what the issue might be. Um, yeah, we've got a uh, fort tower here holding. That's really good. Then we've got well, two actually, two towers. The two towers. Okay, Legionnaires, so we are back. And uh, yeah, I've sorted out the issue. I've basically just reloaded, reloaded up the replay. And uh, we don't seem to be having any stirring at this point, so that's fine. I'm not really sure why that was, like, why that's really an issue. It's a bit annoying that I've got to reload the entire replay. But, uh, but yes, we're back anyway, and uh, you can see the Warriors of Ru Warlords of Rune, in fact, are going down the hill. They're going to rout my archers, my poor nine archers that are still alive, and they're going to then surround, and they're now threatening our rear here. They could actually rout all my troops here, um, which is a bit concerning. Um, yeah, my archers are now going. My uh, whole guardians are not going to break, but there's only five of them left. That is insane. Um, and here we go. So I've got some archers, some more archers coming up. Some last Gallum archers. They are going to have to fight these warlords of Rune. Um, just basically occupy them so our, our guys at the front can carry on fighting. But I mean, they're going to lose anyway. My whole guardians, with their two guys left. Where are they? Here they are. They're in no danger of being killed anytime soon. Brave souls. Oh, he got a kill. I think he just got a kill. Nice. Oh, no, now they're, now they're very much at the front. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, yeah, so uh, we've been bu actually pushed back down the hill by these uh, Warlords of Rune, but we are actually trying to focus them down as much as possible. And um, we're sending in some more fresh Lost Garland Blades, and this is going to be a real big help to when we actually want to get up here and fight these Macemen, which is still really strong. Over here on this side, um, the final assault is being prepared. I don't know whether they're sending in archers first, whether... Um, Actually, they don't have any ammo over here. We only have a bit of ammo over here, but only like a slight bit. Like this, I think this unit here is the Forest Rangers, the only one with our ammo left. But yeah, we'll have a look at them now, actually, now, now that they're stood up and they're, you know, they're uh, doing their bits. Actually, they yeah, there you go. They, they've stood up and they've stood up for now firing. They look pretty damn cool. Gorgeous. Fire, go on then, man. There you go. But uh, yeah, so they're firing into the side of these Warlords of Rune. They're getting a lot of kills there. They're uh, losing decisively. So that's good. That's good to see. Um, we now have um, the General coming out for uh, this Runic army over here. Uh, and he is a Warlord of Rune. That's a bold move. I mean, they are out of ammo, so he's going to be pretty safe here. He's going to be pretty safe. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's just kind of charging to the back of his own men. <laughs> and there is a few men in here. Some... Small hall guardians, and they're they're brave men, so they'll hold the line against thousands if needs be. But yeah, this is a big blob here, big blob of elves. If they have any ammo on this wall, which I'm sure that oh yeah, look at this. Look, they've resupplied these units, has got resupplied, and they're back with more ammo. And this is so annoying, <laughs> so frustrating. You're just like, oh yeah, we're, we're actually they're out of ammo. Finally, um, we're gonna have to do some work. They're actually got ammo here. Well, this is the Varric Bowman that survived. Fire into the side here, it's doing devastating work. Look at the amount of men left, it's so close. Um, we are doing the advantage, but they still have like the choke points. They've got a lot more archers than us um, left with ammo. 
And they got cavalry left. So I think they've got, um, I'd say that's why it's still, the balance power is still even as well. And here we go. These hall guardians are broken through. If they kind of push through, I think this is uh, a little bit dubious, but um, they're now in behind and they're now going to chase after these uh, Loki remarches. Which, to be fair, they resupplied. Uh, it is a genuine tactic, but we came frustrated at them just resupplying and going back on this wall and killing our men. So, uh, I'm. I don't normally condone pulling through, but this one was a little bit, like. Not. A little bit justified, a bit, in a way, but. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Not much else to say, really, about it. Um, but they did get a good volley off. They killed, like, nine of them. And the 100 crews chasing them down as well. That's kind of funny. Just getting at their heels. Here we go, those last garland blades are finally through on the wall here. They're now going to push on to try and get these archers. We've got more macemen now coming up. And these poor last garland blades have been fighting on the wall for ages. They've probably been like, yeah, we want to get inside the city and help with our comrades. No. We've got to stay on the wall, fight on this boring wall. Both sides here, exhausted. And it's like a, the tiniest of choke points. Like, look at that. That is what they're fighting over. It's like four men abreast. They're, that's not going to change hands anytime soon. Um... So, yeah, we're not going to need to worry about that at all. So, I guess that's kind of good, but, I mean, could have done with uh, maybe one unit going in there. But we've got uh, the cavalry here still trying to cause issues. I keep calling out while oh, the cavalry's coming. Oh, we've got another unit here, more forest range with that. Archers. With archers, with bows. With bows. Of course, they've got bows. With that ammo, jeez. I'm having a brain fart there. Here we go. Clash of infantry. I think I'm now all out of hall guardians. Yeah, they're all gone. It's now just my bows left. Fighting these macemen, who are going to be slow, so low on HP. They've got to be so low on HP. They've been shot at for so long, they've been attacked once. Now they're being attacked a second time. We've got uh, Bane of the Step coming up. This is the general unit, uh, the cavalry unit. He's dismounted. A bold decision. He could have probably just uh, held the line. They've got plenty of uh, units here. We've got archers. That was really nicely done. Like they're chasing down these archers, but they're focusing down like this whole guardians. So I mean, well played by the uh, defenders here. They just lured him inside and then shot him in so many flanks. So well done there. Um, now we've got. Yeah, this is uh, not looking good here. Lots of losing decisively. I'm seeing here. This choke point could be a bit of an issue. This is where we've got any hope of getting through. Uh, and we could kill a general off here. So, yeah, I'm trying to uh, sneak around the side. You can see my general is uh, in column formation. He's going to sneak around and he's going to either surround this general or he's going to go after the next line of defense. Probably um, go after the general, but here we go. Sneaking around. I'm just like, they slightly get stuck, but I just carry on. I persevere. I'm like, get going, boys. Get going. There you go, the round. These brave, brave boys, and they can go in. In a moment, I'm just—I think I'm just resetting up so these guys. Yep. Yeah. Lords of Lesgar, and they're good in combat. And there you go, they're actually going to have to fight these Loki Rim. So I'll hold them up. So there we go. These Lords of Lesgar, and they'll hold the line for a while against these guy against these Loki Rim, I think. And in time, I think they should break through this line here. Oh, the cavalry actually got through. The cavalry got through, and it's going for these, uh, for the general here, Canary's general. That's huge. If they can get that general, that'll be huge. But it's Lords of Las Garland. They won't break. We've got uh, Hall Guardians in here as well. They'll start chopping away at those guys. Bane the steps. Uh, yeah, I think I lost another small unit of uh, <laughs> small unit of archers, and also the generals in here. And he's fighting like this unit is so stretched out; it's fighting literally everywhere. It's fighting like all these units here, and it's uh, not feeling so good. Like, look at this Lords of Lasgar, and they're losing decisively, but none of them are dying. Like, well done to them. And these, uh, yeah, it's allowing uh, the Hall Guardians to get up here and finish them off. My men are wavering though. Oof, not good. Um, but I am actually winning this fight here. Like, I don't know how, but these Lords of the Scarlet are beating this Loki Rim Macement. They were just then. They're now losing themselves. Um, 
But this is huge. We, I mean, they're both trying to take out our generals now. Um, they failed over here. Uh, they didn't get either of those two generals, the cavalry or the uh, arch one. These archers are now going to go back on the wall. So frustrating. Um, but I was like, okay, if you can get more units round, um, like now I was like saying, get more units round, then we can surround uh, this general here. And then we can support my general as well, who's now starting to feel the pain. Like, these macemen are starting to just in prolonged melee are starting to win this fight. Poor archers. But, yeah, this is where, like, we're, the push is going to come. Or, like, the push is going to come. And there you go. These units are falling back. They're sending back in that tiny Luke, you're a macemen. That's an interesting trade. Um, it's, it is a general or it's like this unit is going to break and they're going to get through in a moment. Any second now. On this side, we are seeing a, uh, a, well, a stall really, an assault. They're not going to get through here anytime soon. These uh, warlords are doing well. The clan guards are doing well. They've got two really elite units there, in fairness. But over here, I mean, they're also elite, but there's just not enough of them. Like, where they're holding is just not going to be, like, they can hold here, but we can flank around. We can go and get these archers. We can go and get up here and then flank around these uh, swords. And now they're losing. So that's excellent. And they're capturing this tower. Um, I think they're trying to stay in the middle of the tower so they don't get like attacked uh, like when they crumble. Yeah, they don't lose any men. They did did it right. Actually, they might have lost some cavalry. No, no, the cavalry was fine. And there we go. They can go in to support my general. And thank God he needs the support. And there he goes, winning decisively. It's looking really good. Now we need to get the general up here and go get these archers. She's doing so. And then here we go. This cavalry, I think, is going to come in and it's going to... What is it actually being focused? Oh, it's being focused on my archers up there. Where's it going? Oh, it's going for uh, the general there um, that's pulled out. Very nice. Can this elven king do it? So slow. He's so slow. Oh, jeez. That was close. Close to the, literally the guy to the right of the general just got like killed. Is that? That does look very much. Oh, and there you go. He's dead. He's crushed into a horse as well, just to make it worse. Poor guy. Um, but yeah, so the uh, general died, um, which is kind of worrying because this general actually had most like his army was the freshest left. I li literally got no them. And look at them; they get folks down like the charge is being halted. And uh, the Loki room charging in. They're going to break this. Uh, I mean, the uh, Elven King charging into the Loki room. That's going to break them. They're actually getting chopped to pieces right now, these Elven Cav. They do look glorious, though, as they do it. The silver armor. Oh. And then come more archers. And there we go, they've got, they're gone. That's the last, like, major melee unit on this side. They're now falling back loads of other stuff. This, uh, this choke point over here, this is nearly freed up. We're nearly through. There's archers here that are still doing a lot of damage, though. I, how do they get these archers in behind? These Varag, these Varag bowmen are just, like, shooting these archers in the back. I didn't even realize. But, um, I mean, yeah, they've, they've broken through. But at what cost? They're not actually going to have a unit, like anything left to actually get through. So it's actually going to come down to this side. And it's currently five, 500 versus 600. Well, 600 versus 500. We have the numbers ever so slight. But they still have ammo that could break us. We've got a tiny bit of cavalry left. And they also have a bit of cavalry left. So it's going to be so close to see who's going to win this. But we need to take this general out. Warlords are ruined. He really needs to go. And um, we've got elven sword, like swords back here. They really need to get up and engage these art uh, these uh, warlords so the archers can just uh, save them. They've been fo is that general still being focused down? I think he is. But yeah, there we go. We're breaking this small unit of uh, war warlords of rune. I've now been charged. My uh, my general's now been charged. I just hate this cavalry. Hated cavalry in this battle. But here we go. Um, we're nearly done. And the cavalry now, it's got hall guardians, it's got more archers. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna win this fight. P 
happy. My general's still losing. I'm sure they're getting fury that we couldn't. They couldn't kill any of our generals. I mean, they got the Elven King, but they couldn't get any of these other ones. Just like the Arch units, just holding in combat. They were like both of them were losing decisively in the cavalry charges, and they neither of them could do anything. And here we go. I think this general unit is going to charge into uh, these warlords of Rune here. Possibly. I could be wrong. Yep, yeah, here he goes. A brave charge. Oh, jeez. Like, look at the hole they made. That's a solid hole they made in there. Um, but yeah, let's have a look and... Like, how many... There's not many left. I mean, the cavalry, though. They're going to go and get those uh, archers. They're out of ammo, so there's no need to really go and get them. There's so many... Like, they've actually retaken this side as a uh, rune. It's insane, but I think... I'm not sure. It's so close. We're actually going to cap the, capture the point with some swords. Not a bad idea at this point. Um, like, it's so, it's so close. It could go either way. Get the cap point. Might be the best uh, best plan. We're actually now beating this Bane of the Steps. It's not quite lost its general yet, but it looked like it might. All these units are winning decisively. Chop them down. This cavalry's caused like the cavalry's caused so much damage and pain. That one, that man was floating. He's floating again. That man is a sorcerer. And there you go. I think they're actually broken. There you go. That's huge. Yeah. Now that we've killed that one, that general routed him. That's gonna be huge for morale over here. I don't know. I don't know if that was. He's got any. Units left. I think it might all just be the other runic player. But we'll see. And here we go. Charging into those walls of rune. Hall Guardians holding the line. Oh! I didn't even see that. That was really nicely done. That was very cool. Oh! That guy just charged and he got stabbed. I don't know if you guys saw that. The enemy general is dead, and that, there you go. I think he just died when charging in here. That was very nice. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> oh, excellent. Excellent. That's what happens when you charge in fools to Hall Guardians. Every time I see someone do it, just like charge in, like an archer just charging, has the audacity to actually try it. Just gets impaled. It's like, what a foolish man. But yeah, I think now, uh, well, the time is going down. There's 92 seconds. Um, well, less than that now. And, but these archers are wavering. They're about to go. It just leaves this unit over here, which is actually just wavering on its own. I think that is it. Oh, the side supply barrels are running. Good. They deserve to run. Those guys kept the, uh, those guys literally kept their uh, archers going for so long. The general here, literally down to one unit. It's not the general, he is dead, but, you know, he's just, he's just chilling. Cutting some men down, I don't actually know if he is, but, yeah, he's just, what's he doing? He's just fighting them. Yeah, now the final fight is over here. which has been going on for so long at this wall. It's, an, really is, uh, a little grind. This is uh, the unit's wavering, but I mean, I don't actually know if they're going to break. It's like there's only four men fighting in the in it. The battle's only just turning in our favour now, apparently. Oh, cutting them down. And uh, yeah, I think the rest of our army's like being sent over there. Oh no, we're actually fighting some, el uh, some elves. Imagine, yeah, elves just fighting elves now. No, uh, we just fought some archers, killed them. And now we're all sending our troops over there. But uh, not that it really matters. We're, the enemy force will soon be ours. And there you go, a Pyrrhic victory. And uh, it certainly was. It was a very close one. Insanely close. And uh, yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone that took part and for allowing me to get involved as well. Um, TZN, Canary, and Smokey, and Lol Watt, all for joining and... Uh, 
well, allowing me to also play. It was a really good battle, one of the closest sieges I've ever played. And really good again to see, off, see the uh, Woodland Realm in action. So we'll quickly look at TZN's army first. Um, most of his kills came from his uh, swords here, his two, 257. His arch did really well as well, 199 Lords of Les Garland. His forest rangers getting 80 kills at the end there, uh, doing their best. And then uh, his hall guardians getting 147, so not bad for them. I, uh, my army here, um, 222 with my hall guardians, 199 with the other. All of them getting over 100 kills, nearly 150. Les Garland blades 202. Um, and my archers, my best one was 128. Uh, actually, no, my general getting 147, I guess, but they're not all in shooting. That's certainly a lot of them were in combat. Canary, who had the hardest time, he's like flying at that wall for ages. He was the one there flying at the wall. Had a really rough time. Um, 197 with his Hall Guardians. Um, Lord to Las Garland getting 142. That's excellent as well. But yeah, he had a really tough game. So I think he got the least amount of kills, probably. And mm, I had the most losses, actually. I had literally nothing left. <laughs> Just my general. It was a hard time. And I brought the most men. Didn't even realize that. Wow. Um, and then Smokey, uh, who was playing as one of the rune players. Uh, he was mainly fighting against me. He did pretty well in holding me back for a long, long time. Um, his Warlords of Rune, probably one of his best units, 154. Um, his Varig Warriors, 120, uh, 122, 112. His uh, Loki Rune March is 302. Uh, most of them got did insanely well. They were just devastating on that second wall. Then Lol Watt. Um, with his general got 200, 207, jeez. Um, his infantry didn't do like that great. His uh, maceman just seemed to get outmatched. His clan guard's got 110, that's actually not too bad. His uh, other warlords rune here, 242. His Loki rim arches both getting 200 kills. And his Varig bowmen not doing too bad either. And his cav getting 198, jeez. And his RT getting 188, that's insane. So if you guys enjoyed, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys.